Uh, Mark, a 5 0 defeat today to uh, Workshop Town. What did you make of the game? Uh, started slow, gave away sloppy goal from the set piece, early doors. Um, after that, we grew into it to be honest, played some decent stuff. Um, Gap started to tighten up. Um, but yeah, like I say, after the, after the first, after the first 10 15, really, we started um, to show what we can do, moving the ball a lot better. And then, obviously, a bit of a soccer punch again before half time, where we conceded the second again at a poor time. But like I say, I think we grew into the game really well, lots of positives um, after we conceded the first goal. Now you come in as a goalkeeper coach this season, you, now what's it like to be around the club? Oh, I love it. I mean, Everyone's been good. The lads, I said straight to his lady when, when I came in, the lads have been fantastic. It's, I, I know the place quite well anyway. I was here five, six years ago. Um, it's a number two to which, and then I played at the junior setup. So I know the place really well. A lot of the volunteers are still the same. And like I said, Aidy's brilliant. Everyone, the, the lads, Gaff, yourself, people like that, everyone's brilliant. So no, it's a great club to be a fan. You touched on uh, being number two to Hitch years ago. Uh, what do you make of him as a goalkeeper? Brilliant keeper. Really a brilliant goalkeeper. Always, uh, any goalkeeper is a little bit still icon, but that's that's why I love Matt. But yeah, as a goalkeeper coach, come and look a little bit. We've looked a little, I've looked a little bit today and we've spoke a little bit already, but he's a fantastic lad, fantastic goalkeeper. Um, like I say, I spoke, to, I spoke to him before I came in, I spoke to Ron and Aidy and Everyone speaks out of him. He's a great lad, great goalkeeper. I think really lucky to have him. He's, he's a lad. He wants to learn. He's he's receptive to anything you offer him, any advice, and he wants to get better, which is good. In my opinion. Now it's just him at the club in terms of goalkeepers at the minute. Uh, we're looking at bringing in a number two, or are you going to act as the number two, or what's going to be happening in that uh, sense? I think I'll play when I need it. If it's the odd game, I imagine if anything long term with Swansea to which does. Bring in someone long term, like I say, I'm only here now and again. Um, if, if I'm needed, like I say, my role is to go and keep a coach, and I'm happy with that. I don't, I'm not bothered about playing, just happy to have a hold like I did at Everton when I needed it. And uh, on to Hull City Academy on uh, Tuesday night, it should be another tough test, shouldn't it? Yeah, another tough test. There'll be a fit set of lads, they'll come at you. Uh, but again, it's what you want in pre season minutes in people's legs. It's no, it's, I said, just said the gap outside there, it's no good playing teams that you know. Capable of probably beating four or five nil every week. It's, it's, it looks good. It looks good in the headlines and things like that. But you need tests like Wexel. Wexel were brilliant today. You can see why they won the what the league last season. Good side, well organised, experienced players, and another good another. Um, I hope the test for us. Just like Tuesday will be a different test. Um, they'll be well drilled, young set lads. But again, minutes in the legs for the boys, isn't it? Uh, yeah, Mark. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.